Oh, it's our penultimate. We're nearly through it. Uh, please welcome to the show Courtney and Mark Spazzato from Hey, It's Me. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Hey, good. How are you? Yeah. Good. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about your film. Right. Okay. Uh, what do you want to know? <laughs> Everything. 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 <laughs> what? Well, <laughs> Okay, if you were telling someone, um, this is what my film is about, this is why you should watch it, you've got like a minute, go. Okay. What, what are right. we telling people? It's a long, long elevator pitch. I like it. So it's about a <laughs> um, selfish guy, self-centered guy. That's the opportunity to talk to himself from the future phone call. So that's to experience time travel, sound waves, revisit some moments in his life, his future self calling him. Ooh, Ooh, that sounds very cool. Okay, what gave you the idea for a time traveling telephone? Which I realize is like very reduced way of saying. Yeah, it. no, and the answer is not allowed to be Bill and Ted. <laughs> no, no, not Bill and Ted. Not Bill and Ted. So, I mean, I, I can I can start off. Court can jump in. Yeah, um, yeah. So basically, uh, we we really wanted to tell a story about an important moment in someone's life that ruined their life. I wanted a wishful scenario, go back and change it. Okay, the obvious answer is time travel. Or limited means, do a short with a small budget, but instead of like trying to invent an easy time machine, have it be through a company. Had a prop from our previous short, really cool, right there right between there. us, that phone. Mm -hmm ornate Victorian <laughs> rotary phone. We wanted to just elevate it into some kind of crazy um, auditory. So that's kind of where the whole thing started. And a lot of like, what if particles of sound, like sound waves could be the thing that person tries sound waves. Uh, that was a way to do some practical with a still a big story. And just in general, I'm just fascinated. That's my end of it. Oh, that, that's up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Favorite what, time travel. What, of all of the things that you could have done with time travel, like, what made you settle on, like, this narrative? Uh, I think a large part of it is that you know, people always say to themselves, man, if I knew now, what I, I wish I knew then what I know now. Mm. So it's kind of mm. like, you're older, like give your younger self advice. We were kind of focusing on that. Like, you know, you become a different person as an adult. So the contrast between the younger guy who's one type of person and the older guy, that's a totally different person because of all the experiences that he lived thought about like what would it be like if our we could go back and give her yeah to, yeah to piggyback on that um we were really inspired by looper that relationship that's antagonistic between um like the they same don't character like each other in two time periods we thought that was a really fascinating with because if you take a you know 30 something year old and a over 90 year old vastly different so imagine putting them together and you know if they don't internally like Many things about themselves and that other version of themselves. Mm. Mm. That I mean, is I, a great concept. I get that as well because I mean I'm only 31, but if I met myself at 17, I would probably drop kick him in the face. It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was so following on from that. Like, what if you could go back and say something to your younger self? Like, first off, at what age would you call yourself out? Like. Which version of you, if you could only do it once, which version of you would be the one you have to speak to the most and what would you say? I'll go first because yeah. it's easy for me. Yeah. I would I would speak 18-year-old version of myself and say, chill out, dude. Calm down. <laughs> it's going to be okay. You don't be so crazy. You don't be wild. Do you think uh, you would listen? Um, but what would you do to convince yourself that this like random older guy, you need to listen to this one? 
<laughs> I mean, I would like invent a time traveling telephone, shock the 18 year old me into understanding this is important advice coming from. All right. <laughs> <laughs> just you've got to make a film about this one day it makes sense don't worry <laughs> yes, exactly <laughs> so what about you to my, to my eight-year-old self and don't be afraid to ride the roller <laughs> oh, oh i love that that's amazing that's a good one that's enjoy good one. enjoy it don't don't spend time being be a kid that's a much better <laughs> I, like I, I liked both of you <laughs> very much <Thank> you. <laughs> Um, and do you hope like that's something that people are thinking about when they watch your film or is there like something else you want to take away from? Well, I mean, I think, thing. yeah, I mean, I, I think it's such a hope that most people I say. Just um, understanding that go through time, you're not the same person from one point to the next. Yeah. And just mm -hmm. taking that that thought and just blowing it up into something, you know, really extreme in this case, really makes you take uh, stock of what's going on in your life and maybe looking at that in a new way. All those things would be really uh, great if people start thinking about that after watching our film. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I kind of want to, I kind of want to ask, like, so without the time traveling telephone, all you can do is like, try and apply that advice you'd give to your life now um and like if you had any thoughts about how you would do that but that feels like a much deeper question than we have time to tear apart <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. but it was a wonderful answer regardless so everybody everybody's happy um that is unfortunately we've got time for from uh courtney and mark spasato of hey it's me which is playing at Rimfest from Sunday, April 4th, 6 p.m. So thank you so much for coming on. It's been such a delight yeah. talking to you. Likewise, so we're, great. we're so excited. We can't wait. And uh, we're just honored to be a part of it. Yes, yeah. we are. Ah, oh, us too, to be honest. <laughs> That's like, it's brilliant. Thank you so much for coming on. And thank we'll speak you. to you later. One more time, Claudia Mark. Thank you. Thank you.